Hey, I'm Matt from MasterSketchup.com, and this is video number three in the Medicine Cabinet Walkthrough video series. Now, in this video, we're gonna be adding the back to the Medicine Cabinet, and we're gonna be creating shelves. So during that process, you're gonna learn how to edit groups and components, and also how to create multiple copies of something uh, within SketchUp. So grab your SketchUp model. If you don't have it, you can check the description below for a sample file that you can use to follow along with this. And let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so on the back, I think we're gonna use a half inch MDF back panel. And I want it to be recessed into the back of the cabinet here. So what we need to do is create some rabbits in the these pieces here for the panel to be set into. So in order to edit entities that are inside of a group or component, you need to grab the select tool with the space bar. And then instead of single clicking to select it, you wanna double click. So when I double click on this component, you'll see this bounding box around it. And that's an indication that you're editing a group or component. And then the rest of your model kind of grays out and you can't manipulate or select any of these objects. And if you try to click on it, you exit the group. So double click to enter the group. And then you just single click somewhere outside of the bounding box to close the group. So let's go ahead and double click on this component and I'm gonna zoom into this corner here and I'm going to grab the rectangle tool with the letter R and click right at this corner and I'm gonna make a half inch square and I can use uh, SketchUp's snap feature to lock right to that so if I move my mouse and kind of look at the dimensions at the bottom right I can see right where that half inch square is and then I'll grab the push-pull tool and I'll hover over this face that I want to extrude. And then one, I click once to start the push-pull and then I can orbit around to a better view while the push-pull tool is still active and then zoom in down here to make sure that I'm clicking at this snap point. So you can see how the push-pull tool not only allows you to extrude, but it allows you to remove geometry from a shape as well. And the other thing to notice is that everything we did over here on this component is copied over on this component. And because we flipped the component around, that's why it looks like it's mirrored. So if I undo and do this again, you can see that it's it's doing the exact thing that I'm doing over here to that component. Okay, so I'm gonna just click once outside of that component with the select tool to close that. So again, when you're outside of a component, a single click will select the entire component. Now when you're inside of a component, you can now select all of the individual entities that make up that component. So let's do the same thing over here. I'm gonna double click this top piece. I'll grab the rectangle tool. I'll create a rectangle. And this time I'm gonna type it in. So I'll do 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. Now notice that I'm not putting the quotation mark here in this case. And the reason I can get away with that is because if you omit a unit when you type in a dimension, SketchUp will always revert to whatever the default unit you have configured in the particular model. So then I'll just use the push-pull tool to extrude that and you can see down here at the bottom we have the same thing. Now actually you know this is kind of pointless. We don't really need a rabbit here. I can actually just you know have this be a ripped board. So I'll just grab the uh, push-pull tool and we'll just bring this right up to the top and you can see that deletes it all together. So in this video, you know, there's going to be some things where we'll do some work first and then maybe I'll change my mind later and, you know, I'll show you how to change things after the fact. I think that's really important because that's the reality of design. 
you know, you're not always going to get it right the first time. You really need to know how to edit the model as you make design iterations. Okay, so we have the, uh, the box framed out for the most part. So let's go ahead and create the back panel. So this will be the same procedure. We'll use the rectangle tool with the letter R. We'll snap to this point here. Now you could go either way. You could snap down here and create the rectangle like that and then push pull it out. Or if you wanted to, you could snap here and snap there and then push pull this down to the bottom. Whichever way you'd like to do it will work. Just remember to triple click once you're done, right click, and this case, since there's only one back panel, we can just make a group. There's no need to make a component. Okay, we're gonna want some shelves in here, so probably two shelves. So actually would be, so let's think about this here. If we have the door overlay the frame, we could have the shelves be the same size as these two pieces. So all we need to do is create copies of these pieces. Now, initially that's how I designed this medicine cabinet, but you'll find out in the other videos that it didn't work out and I ended up changing to an inset door style. But let's go ahead for now and design this as a full overlay door. So what you'll need to do is single click on this horizontal component. We'll grab the move tool with the letter M right there and we're gonna to snap to this point. Remember, we wanna make a copy, so we're gonna tap Control. Now, SketchUp allows you to copy arrays, so we can actually have SketchUp automatically space two copies in between a specified distance. So what we'll do is we're gonna copy from the bottom, that's gonna be the starting point, and then we're gonna copy this temporarily all the way up to the top. Even though we already have one here, this is just gonna be temporary. So I'm gonna click, and then immediately after, you're gonna do forward slash three, enter. And that defines the number of copies that you want. And then we just need to make sure we go back and select one of these and delete. So you can create an array of copies using the move tool by using the forward slash key. You can also use the multiplication key or the letter X to define a number of copies spaced at the interval that you set. All right, so that's it for video number three in the medicine cabinet video series. In the next video, we're gonna be creating the door for the medicine cabinet. If you need a link to the video playlist, make sure you check out the description below and I will see you in the next video.